snow fell fast this morning and created a big mess for everyone. First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us how people handled the changing conditions. This isn't exactly the way William Cisco thought he'd spend his day on Youngstown's west side. No, I'd rather be working, but I'm here right now shoveling snow. Not far away, a handful of families took advantage of an unscheduled day off from school. <coughs> Elsewhere in the region, this was the sound from inside one of the many snow plows crisscrossing local roads. Slippery conditions led to a number of accidents like this one in Vienna. Fortunately, none of them appeared to be that serious. As much of a mess as this morning's commute was, Mahoning County engineer Pat Gennetti worried the precipitation would change before the mercury climbed. When we get into freezing rain, it just poses so many problems because you don't know where the roads are going to ice up first. We were able to ride along with a snowplow driver this morning as local, county and state crews were clearing away as much of the snow as they could before it started raining. Gennetti says that could cause its own share of problems. Especially if it comes down heavy, potholes will be filled with water. You may not see them. Um, there may be some slick spots that you're not going to know until you're on top of it. And all that rain, coupled with the rising and falling temperatures, will create more of what Gennetti calls the vicious cycle, meaning more potholes to fill. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.